Nintendo has just revealed to us that Big Run will be coming in the next season, which happens to be the chill season. At the very end of their update trailer, they gave us an extended look at Big Run. Outside of data mines, this is the first time we've seen it since the Splatoon Direct, so this is incredibly exciting, and it's great to know that it is coming within the next few months. So let's check out some details that Nintendo has revealed about Big Run with this trailer, and also some things that you might have missed as well with all the excitement going around. This is a very small detail, but it does seem like the sort of branding color that we'll see in-game for Big Run is this kind of magenta color. We had seen some datamine previews of Big Run showing off this color, and I think a lot of people might have assumed it was a placeholder, but it does seem like this is the theme Nintendo is going for Big Run, rather than some kind of orange or deep red. We can see pretty quickly that Big Run will affect how the Splatsville Plaza looks, just like what we've come to expect with a Splatfest. You can see information about it on the screens. The sky is of course this horrible dark red color, and there are posters everywhere for Salmonids. Just to be clear, when I call the sky a horrible dark red color, I don't mean that it looks horrible. This looks absolutely amazing. I'm so excited that we're getting all of these changes to really hype this mode up. Imagine if it was just exclusively in Grizzco. That would have been so boring. So I'm really excited that the whole Splatoon world, especially Splatsville, is really affected by this change. We can even see that in Grizzco itself, the posters have been put up. So it seems like the Salmonids have really done their best to invade. I'm guessing that the Salmonids did put up the posters themselves, after all they're the ones who invaded, but I guess maybe Mr. Grizz could have done it just to drill up attention and excitement to get everyone defending against these guys. In a way, they're kind of like old propaganda posters from real world wars and stuff, which we do know that the Splatoon franchise does tie into real world stuff like that a lot, so that's quite interesting to think about, I find. From the first Big Run trailer that we got, we knew that we would be playing on Wahoo World at some point during this mode. Well, it does seem like from this trailer that Wahoo World might actually be the only stage that we play on for this current Big Run. Now, I'm sure in future we will be playing on different stages, but they didn't show any of them off here and I feel like they would have if we were going to. Now, of course, that isn't confirmation from Nintendo, we will have to wait and see, but I would temper your expectations if you're expecting to see a lot of other regular stages as Salmon Run stages for now. If it is just the one stage being Wahoo World though, that does make you wonder if there really will be some consequences for it happening on this particular stage. Could Wahoo World be severely affected depending on the outcome of this event? We'll have to wait and see. Now, I could just be going crazy with this one, so let me know if I'm wrong, but I feel like the Salmon Run helicopter does look a little bit different here. It has a big red symbol on the side, which maybe I've never just noticed this before, but it definitely would make sense if the helicopter looked a little bit more intimidating for a big run since it's such a serious event, but you'll have to let me know. Not really too much of a surprise, but we can see that special events can still happen during a big run as well. For example, we can see the Mothership wave happen. I know that it's not too much of a surprise, but I'm still happy to see this. I honestly feel like this would actually be a really good time for them to sneak in some new special waves though. There's a lot of new things that they could potentially do here, and it'd be really great if they did. Then after the big run is over, it could make its way back into the regular salmon run, which would be really cool to see. We can also see that Wahoo World is more flooded than usual. Of course, the Salmonids need a place to come in from, so there are new shores that have been revealed. That does make me wonder if there will be a high tide and a low tide and such on this particular stage. If that is the case, that is honestly going to be really, really crazy, and it's going to change how Wahoo World plays so much. But let me know if I missed anything else in this trailer. Let me know down in the comments section below. I'm so, so excited for Big Run, and I'm guessing you are all going to be as well. This is definitely the highlight of the new season and the new update for me, and I think a lot of people are going to agree with that. So yeah, leave your comments down below. If you made it to the end, be sure to comment Bob's Gang down below so I know you did. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, and if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and turn on channel notifications for more Splatoon-free content.